Hi guys, Matt Lemke here with Your Gamer Goggles. I hope you know that by now. And I hope you guys know Jason Hardy Hello. from Catalyst Game Labs. And we're going to talk all things Shadowrun 6th Edition. Sixth edition, indeed. So, what is new about sixth edition? Uh, the main goal we had in making a new edition was to make it move faster, be more streamlined, and a little more nimble. So, we took a, a fifth edition rule book that was 465 pages, and we made it 300 pages. Oh wow! What did you cut? Uh, we cut a lot of complication. So, some of it was just an extra flavor and things, but a lot of it was too many subsystems of rules that made things more complicated. So when you're like in combat, there's a lot of different possible modifiers you need to look at to try to get a plus here, a minus there, and all that. So a lot of that gets folded into a mechanic uh, that existed before, Edge, but we expanded how Edge is gained and how Edge is used. So you can get it a lot more easily uh, if you have the right weapon against a weak target, if you have the right social strategy, if you're faced, if you have a good deck when you're trying to hack, if you're a particularly strong magic user, then you can gain some edge and then spend it on a wider array of effects to make things happen and to get an advantage over your enemies and then take advantage of your advantage. So, how much, okay, I gotta figure out how I wanna say this. Is it a step down closer to what the boxed anarchy set is? It, it certainly doesn't go as far as Anarchy did. The rules in Anarchy took like 16 pages to cover. And this is a 300 page book, so you have a lot more options than Anarchy did. But there are some moves in that direction. Probably the biggest one is like Anarchy, what were skill groups in SR5 are now skills. So there's a lot fewer skills. Oh, okay, good. We did add some ways to differentiate those skills. There were always specializations, so in a skill you could have an area where you had a particularly good skill, and then we added another layer to that called expertise. So you can get even more bonus dice and you can have both a specialization and an expertise in a single skill. So that allows for characters to differentiate some without being too complicated. Uh, were there any changes to character creation? That probably changed the least. It's still the priority system. The biggest change were the tweaks and values. Um, since you have fewer skills and you need to change how many skills you get at character creation um, and then need to balance the attributes of skill values around that. But it is still the priority system. Uh, the range has changed a little bit. How you start a meta type and how you're an orc, how you're a troll changed some. But the, the framework stayed the same. Uh, I would imagine there's been some changes made to the magic system a little bit here and there, some tweaks. Yep. Um, what, what can we expect to find in the core? The core set. So in the core set, uh, you'll find out that there's no force on spells anymore. So force, uh, for a long time, acted as both how powerful your spell was going to be and also a limit on how many hits you could count when you cast that spell. Um, limit served a great purpose in Shadowrun 5 as a kind of balancing mechanic, but with the way we shifted a lot of things in SR6, we don't need them, so they're gone. Um, and so force went out with it. So instead of having to declare a force before, you have a base effect of a spell, and then you can amp it up in the ways you want to. If you want to make it affect a bit bigger area, if you want to make it do more damage, you can make that happen, and you just have to deal with more drain after you cast it. Okay. Uh, man, I guess that's really about it question-wise. So let's look at some of the product. Sure, so this is the beginner box. How many books are in there? Uh, there are four books I have to remind my oh no more than that because there's four character dossiers and then the quick start rules and then an adventure book and a world book so like okay, quite a bit yeah um, and there will be a free character dossier available online soon so you can add a rigor character to the four that are in here and then there is a poster so you get a nice annotated map of Seattle on one side the other has locations that are used in the adventure nice and of course you get dice because that's what we're all about, giving away lots of six-sided dice. And this guy comes in at what price? 
25 dollars and it? one more thing it has a deck of cards in there for reference and use of the game so it has uh, the gear that the characters use spells and other things so that you have all that right in front of you as you play cool so yeah 25 bucks that's one thing i like anymore is cards like yeah. I, I play a lot of different games and one thing i've found is a useful tool is just like condition cards Right. This is, you know, okay, as a GM, here, you have this for now. I can see it as a GM. I don't have to remember. Exactly. Anything that makes it easy to remember is good. And so I talked about edge, how you're going to be gaining and spending edge more. So tracking how that shifts is important. And we have the dice and edge tokens pack. So if you need more dice and in Shadowrun, you always need more dice. These are cool uh, colors too, man. Cool yeah. colors. Pink and purple, what we're going with. And you get the edge tokens in there, and that will be enough for a character to track how much edge they have, and when you spend it, throw it at the GM, and when you earn it, the GM throws it back at you. And so it's a good way to track how that dynamic stat works. I like it. Minis are, are beautiful. Our Prime Runner miniatures. We've actually had these in the works for a long time. We just couldn't find the right partner to help us carry it out. But we do now. And so we have these Prime Runner minis. Five minis. We got uh, cross range and meta types. We got a nice big troll with a minigun because who doesn't want to troll with a big minigun? And a mage and a hacker. Uh, some of them are characters you've read about in 5th edition, like Sledge, the Orc Street Samurai. Your pocket's not big enough, Matt. It's not going to work. Not happening. I lost 25 pounds. My pocket is big enough. <laughs> that See? makes your pants fit looser. It doesn't make your pocket fit. Man. There's less fill in the space. <laughs> uh, so those are out. Very happy to have that so characters can, or people can play with them and move little toys around the game table because I like that. Paint them. Yes, or have someone who knows how to paint, paint them. And I see books. Terrible. Yes. Books. We've got books. So this is one I was really excited about, the Neo-Anarchist Streetpedia. This is just a collection of entries about all the important things in the sixth world. So it's a reference tool. If you need to learn about the movers, the shakers, the powers, the history, all that that's going on, it's I actually there. need that book. So you got like uh, Constantinople, Nadia Daviar, The Great Ghost Dance. Good the Indian Union. Yeah, that's a pretty here. Let's show that one. That's a good picture. Indian Union picture. Uh, Narcoject. Tokyo. Well, Neo Tokyo. Neo Tokyo. Spinrad Global, the newest AAA corporation in the Shadowrun universe. Arthur Vogel, big uh, executive at Ares. All sorts of fun stuff. And the style on this, the writers had a lot of fun. Just getting loose and goofy sometimes. My favorite entries in this book are the shortest ones. So some of them are about 100 words. And that force the writers to be concise, to get to the point as quickly as possible, and to come up with fun ways of saying things. So they're a lot of fun to read. Very nice. And then... This book's a little bit thicker. Just came in. No future. Why is it wrapped so special? Good question. So this is our culture book. So sports, music, tritios, and everything. And so we kind of wanted to show the difference between how the world of Shadowrun is portrayed and some of the in-world media and the reality. So you get the cover, and you've got this uh, lovely young woman with a teddy bear on the fancy street. Slip it off, and you see the reality of the sixth world. Oh, very cool. It's got a Molotov cocktail. Things are very a little dingier cool. and more seamy. And on the back... That should have been your April Fool's Day gimmick. <laughs> we got our dwarf running along and the Shadowrun logo. Put the cover back on. And he Shadowrun S gets a mohawk and we get glasses and wig on the dwarf because neo-anarchists. Yep, neo-anarchists. They mark things out. And we, we have other fun things in this book as well. Let me see if I can get this on camera because this is one of my favorites. So there's a group in this book, a media group called Annotated, who takes news articles and videos and marks them up with the truth that the big corporations are afraid to tell. So you get a hey news article there and that's got the acetate overlay 
this would be the article that they sold, and that would be the truth the annotator is trying to tell you. Very nice. So there's a lot of good in-world things. There's you had a lot, a lot of, of fun secrets. making this. Oh, yeah. And a lot of secret stuff buried in there that I'm not going to reveal. I, I guess that's two books I need. So those, uh, and the rules in here are for 6th edition. So it will be your first preview. If you're still playing 5th edition, when we released the PDF, it had 5th edition rules. So we can still use it for 5th edition. Whatever you play, you can use no future. Nice. So this is all here. All here. What are you planning for Gen Con? Well, of course, we got to have the 6th edition core book. Which is, is there a preview copy here? I do not have a preview copy here, no. Still on a plane, huh? Uh, yes, yeah, still somewhere that is not here. I don't guess where things are because shipping has been crazy. So it is somewhere. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. About 300 pages, like I said, you'll have the full book. Um, I am not 100% certain it will make Gen Con, but I'm hoping our NPC card deck will be there. Okay. So you get 50-some NPCs, easier to throw into any situation. Uh, GM's got summary information on the front, stats on the back, easy to use, and then they can show it to the players too so they know who they're running up against. Excellent. So anything else you want to add? I think that's the main stuff for now. We got lots of other cool things in the work. Got a really innovative GM screen, and we got a plot book called Cutting Black, and a campaign book called 30 Nights to deal with some of the interesting plots and twists of the sixth world. So look forward to them. We'll have information on our website, shadowrunsixthworld.com. Shadowrunsixthworld.com. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. This is why I came here this time. So watch this video and share it. Or he will run you down. But not till 7th edition. <laughs> Hi, guys. Meet the Nibbles, who's going to go down. <laughs> she just did, decided not to go down my back. So we'll do this for her so she's comfy. Uh, thanks for watching my video. And I appreciate it. Uh, please please hit the like button uh, and, and share it if you, you know, know somebody who might be interested. And, of course... There's always Twitter and the Facebook thingy, and soon I have a newsletter coming. That'll be down there or in the link below, and my kitty cat loves that idea. Uh, so, anyway, uh, there was one more thing. There was one more thing. Oh, yeah. Subscribe. Be a part of my community, our community. Let's make it grow together. See you guys at a con somewhere or a local store or if I'm driving through the country, maybe a game club. I don't know. You're not going to go knock down my camera. Bye, guys.